Hello, good morning. This is Juan, uh, product manager uh, at the mobile apps team. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, all the goals uh, about this sprint. Can you move to the next one, Adrian, please? So we complete most of uh, the issues we were working on, um, but still there are a few things to finalize regarding the accessibility review for 4.1. Um, there are mostly things that we are not able to reproduce or are problems that are generated by the framework we use for creating the mobile application. Um, but uh, everything is on track in general. The video playback improvements for iOS and the new video recording tool uh, are almost finished. Um, the, rep, uh, the visualization of reports is also finished, and we are and we are still working on the BMA management tool. But we accomplished the first integration with external systems. And finally, this was not part of the spring goal, uh, uh, but it's something that we uh, had to face during uh, the release of new branded mural apps for clients, that is that we need to uh, include a new tool to uh, allow users to report content uh, that they created or report uh, another user from the uh, mobile application itself. And I'm going to show some screenshots for these new features now. If you can move, Adrian, to the next one, please. So this is the... Uh, video playback. It, it was recently fixed in LMS that uh, basically the problem was that if you were uh, recording audio or video and using the Rix text editor uh, buttons, you weren't able to reproduce it back uh, in iOS devices because iOS is, is not, they don't support uh, like standard uh, formats for media. Uh, so we applied a similar or mostly the same solution that was applied in LMS in order to be able to reproduce these kind of media formats in the mobile application. Could you move to the next one, please? Uh, this is a well Figma page for the new inline video recording tool. So the main problem uh, we were trying to fix here is that uh, the typical audio, rec uh, uh, sorry, um, audio, rec it was, uh, sorry, it says video, but it's audio, my, my bad. Um, it, there was a problem with the format that uh, were, were generated when using a native audio recording functionality. So we are now using uh, built-in web technologies based audio recording audio recorder, sorry, that is going to generate MP3 files instead of the other formats that were used before. Um, so this is the, the Figma uh, screenshot, uh, and it's something that is in, in, in progress. Um, it is going to be a very nice replacement for the existing tools. Next one, please. And finally, this is the, well, not finally, sorry, there is another one. This is the the new report builder in visualization of reports in the mobile app itself. Um, as you can see at your right, you have the responsive view, and at your left, you have the standard view with uh, all the uh, columns. This has been a tricky one to implement because it's not very simple to display reports in, in a mobile application. So we basically follow what the workplace guys did. And it's very consistent with their approach. And we will use this uh, functionality to build also the workplace uh, visualization for reports uh, functionality. And last one, please, Adrian. And this was the last minute thing I was talking about. Um, this is a compliance issue. And we had to implement a report user or report content functionality. It is implemented in three different places in the user profile, in forums, and in uh, message uh, conversations, in messaging conversations. And this work in two different ways, uh, depending on how it's configured. Um, you can configure it in a way that uh, the reports are sent to the site admin or 
a different user depending you can indicate uh, the id of the user you want to send the message to and, and but there is also an option to send this report to an external system that will uh, forward by email the uh, uh, the report to uh, a different user um, this is now available only in our branded uh, Moodle Labs. It's not part of the standard uh, Moodle Lab because we need to think in a more long-term sustainable solution that may be, should be integrated into core LMS as well. And that's all.